Dear students, welcome to the class. I am Manaka Devi, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. Today's class, we are going to discuss about the topic propagation of radio waves. These are all the outlines of today's presentation. What is propagation? Propagation modes, radio frequency bands, radio propagation mechanisms. What is propagation? Propagation is nothing but how radio waves are traveled between two points. So they generally do this in four waves directly from one point to another, follow the curvature of the earth, become trapped in the atmosphere and are traveling longer distance, refracting of the ionosphere back to earth. Propagation modes. Why should we have propagation modes? With propagation modes, we can provide installation guidelines and we can mitigate the interference. We design better wireless system. So based on this, the propagation modes are broadly categorized into three. Ground wave propagation, sky wave propagation and space wave propagation. This is the general structure of propagation modes. Transmitter, receiver, yet surface. From the earth surface to 12 km distance, it is a troposphere region. From 12 km distance to 50 km distance, it is a troposphere region. From 50 km to 80 km distance, it is a mesosphere region. 80 km to 720 km region is a ionosphere region. The signals are propagated through the earth surface. It is a ground wave. The signals are transmitted up to 12 km to 50 km distance and reflected back to the earth. It is a space wave propagation. The signals are transmitted up to 720 km distance and reflected back to the receiver. It is a sky wave propagation. Ground wave propagation. Let us assume this is a transmitting antenna and this one is a receiving antenna. The signals are propagated near to the earth surface, which is called as ground wave propagation. So, in ground wave propagation, the radio waves are follow the earth surface. So, this ground wave propagation is suitable for short range communication. So, AM broadcast during the day, this is the one example. This ground wave propagation works based at low frequencies 40, 80, 160 meters. In ground wave propagation, the frequency range up to 3 MHz. Most important method of propagation is by ground wave, which are vertically polarized waves. They follow the curvature of the earth to propagate far beyond the horizon. Relatively high power is required to travel the signals from the transmitter to the receiver. The next one is sky wave propagation. Signals are reflected from ionized layer of atmosphere back down to earth. Signals can travel a number of hops back and forth between ionosphere and the earth surface. Reflection effect caused by the refraction example armature radio. And the next one is line of sight propagation. Line of sight propagation is nothing but it is a space wave propagation. Let us assume this is the curvature of the earth. This is the transmitting antenna and a this one is a receiving antenna. The signals are travels from transmitting antenna directly to the receiving antenna. There is no obstacles in between these two. It is a line of sight propagation. Or we can call it as a space wave propagation. The signals travels in a straight line from transmitting to the receiving antenna. This line of sight propagation is useful in ultra high frequency and very high frequency ranges. Television, broadcast, AM, FM, these are all the examples for line of sight propagation mode. And signals are easily reflected and causing problems with mobile operations. Line of sight propagation, transmitting and receiving antenna must be in line. So one important mechanism in this line of sight propagation is refraction. So refraction occurs when bending of microwaves by the atmosphere. So, velocity of electromagnetic wave is a function of the density of the medium. 
when wave changes medium the speed also changes wave bend at the boundary between mediums radio frequency bands classification of bands initials frequency range and their characteristics extremely low frequency the frequency range below 300 hertz it is called as elf and infra low frequency ilf 300 hertz to 3 kilohertz range of frequency is called infra low frequency and next one is very low frequency 3 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz range of frequency the next one is low frequency 30 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz range of frequency we call it as the low frequency and the characteristics is surface and the ground wave and medium frequency 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz high frequency 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz it is a sky wave propagation and very high frequency vhf 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz it's a space wave ultra high frequency 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz super high frequency 3 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz extremely high frequency 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz it is a satellite wave tremendously high frequency 300 gigahertz to 3000 gigahertz range of frequency thank you students